22-year-old Portland man dead tonight after going to the Paradiso Music Festival at the Gorge Amphitheater. It's not clear what caused his death, but his family believes 100 degree temperatures and a lack of water at that venue may have played a role. Let's get to Cole Miller right now. He sat down with that young man's family tonight. Cole. Well, Jeff, we've learned more than 50 people at the Paradiso Music Festival had to go to the hospital. And 22-year-old Bo Brooks, who lived in Portland, died at one after being found unresponsive at that festival. Now, the local sheriff's office says drugs are popular at this type of an event. Though it's not clear right now if Brooks had taken anything. This is every parent's nightmare. It's, it's hard to even function. People are heartbroken. We're heartbroken that we don't have them here anymore. It's just, it's, um, I just don't know. I don't know. I can't believe I'm living this. Shock and the unexpected have hit this Portland family from out of nowhere. He's a caretaker, the leader. Um, sweet. He, He's just a sweet person. Yeah, He's very a good person sweet. At heart. Heather and Dane Brooks are talking about a son and a brother, 22 year old Bo Brooks. The Grant County Sheriff's Office in Washington says he died this weekend at the Paradiso Music Festival at the Gorge Amphitheater. And it's just, it's just, it's a blur. It's a blur. Heather Brooks says she encouraged Bo to go, but now wishes she wouldn't have. I didn't know about the event. I didn't know, you know, what it was like. A Grant County Sheriff spokesman says Molly, or a more pure form of ecstasy, is commonly used at these events. I'm holding out hope that that didn't play a part. Dozens of others were also hospitalized. 20 plus thousand people in limited water, no, no shelter, 100 plus degrees. The family says a lack of water is likely the cause of many problems. Very extremely long water lines and they would run out of water before everybody could get, you know, some water and then it'd be some time before they could bring water in again. Now, we reached out to the amphitheater and Live Nation, who owns it, to ask about that rumor of a lack of water. A press release sent out did not address that. An autopsy is set for tomorrow. Jeff, back to you.